What is going on YouTube? Espresso Shucko here. And I had an idea while I was editing the last couple of videos on returning bonds, and that is uh, doing a little bit more of a closer look at some of these returning bonds on an individual basis. Now, keep in mind, uh, move sets are not finalized. Uh, the games are not out yet, so we don't know uh, what new moves are coming in their full entirety. Uh, we don't know what moves are coming back to Gen 9, because in Generation 8, uh, some moves did have to be cut, because like the amount of Pokemon, uh, the amount of moves were starting to get high, and uh, they didn't want to put every single move in the games. So right now, this is based off of what we know for previous moves. Uh, so moves might not necessarily be uh, fully accurate, uh, by the time the game comes out, but I thought this would be fun to look at, and we'll go from there. And uh, once we know more information, we can always return to it and update some stuff, or, you know, just talk about it in comments or something. Starting off with this chain of videos here, I want to talk about Go Goat. The Goat. So, as far as Go Goat stats go, we have a phenomenal base 123 HP. We got a base 100 attack stat, which is not too bad. Uh, 62 defense, it, it could be better. Um, 97 special attack, not too bad. The difference between Gogo's attack stats is nice because, uh, I mean, really, there's only three points. You can choose to run either physical or special with this thing. Uh, right now, I was thinking kind of more of a physical, but because it's got slightly better attack, but special is definitely an option. Uh, we got 81 special defense, which is nice, and we got a base speed of 68, which isn't too bad. Ability-wise, uh, Gogo gets a uh, Sap Zipper for its main ability, so basically if it gets hit with a Grass-type move, regardless of whether it's a damaging move or a status move, uh, Gogo uh, gets its attack increased by one stage. It also gives Gogo Grass-type immunity, so that's kind of nice. You think there's a Giga Drain coming your way for a water type, you switch Go Goat in. You think there's a Sleep Pounder or a Spore coming, Go Goat can uh, come in and take that. I mean, we know Breloom is coming back into the game, and Breloom. Pff, I, I think the world would have to be literally on fire for Breloom to not keep Spore. I think that's a safe assumption. So, anyways, Go Goat can just be there to uh, eat up. Uh, sleep powder or spores though that said grass types are immune to power moves so i don't know that might not actually be as good as i think it is uh yeah i kind of have to see how that dynamic works but yeah anyways grass types are immune um, immune to powder moves but anyways if they can still go into that slot well sap server might kick in something to experiment with when the games come out that's for sure um and the main reason why I'm saying that is because I know Gudra can could do that with Sap Sipper, but Gudra's a dragon type, so uh, yeah, definitely some experimentation for Go Goat right there. Uh, moving on to Go Goat's hidden ability, uh, Grass Pelt. So when Grassy Terrain is active, uh, its defense is raised uh, by 50%, which is nice because if we're taking a look at Go Goat's 62 uh, base defense. Uh, with max IVs, you're, uh, you're looking at 82 minimum before any investment. So you're getting a 50% boost right there, so long as the grassy terrain is up. So that's a minimum of 41 points if you've got max IVs on your uh, defense stat without any investment or without a beneficial nature. So that 62 isn't quite as bad. So what I was thinking... Um, move wise if you were going to run grassy or er, not grassy uh grass pelt um grassy terrain is most likely going to be up on the field so you're already getting a little bit of passive hp back and grass type moves are doing a little bit more damage in addition to that dogoat is a pure grass type so you're getting stab already on grass type moves so what I was thinking for a main option for damage was Leaf Blade, which is a base 90 grass type move, has a slightly higher crit ratio, or Horn Leech, 
slightly less um, slightly less power, but it's also got a recovery effect where you recover half of the damage you've dealt, which isn't too too bad. Um, you can get bulk up, raises your attack and defense. So now you're bolstering go go its base 100 attack stat and its base 62 defense stat uh if you have the grass pelt and grassy terrain synergy on the field now you're getting a little bit of extra damage naturally because of the terrain boosting grass type moves and grass pelt is boosting your defense so it's a little deceiving when you look at the stats before looking at the actual investment which is nice um milk drink <clears throat> it's it's nice because what I was thinking there too if you're already going for bulk with go goat here uh, milk drink will help you keep your HP stat up you're getting half of your HP back which is also handy go goat before any investment is sitting at 198 points into HP so you're getting half of that back already so that was the main core of the three moves then for a fourth option what i was thinking was you don't really want earthquake although the ground ground type damage could be nice because it threatens fire um it also threatens rock but that's not really that important because grass is already doing that um but grassy terrain would be uh weakening earthquakes power in case you didn't know uh basically when grassy terrain's on the, on the field Earthquake and Magnitude both have their power slightly reduced. So you probably don't want to run Earthquake there. Uh, facade could be a good option there. You get burned. Facade at least turns that around and uh, doubles in power. It also... Uh, I'm pretty sure Facade also ignores the attack drop from burn, but... Uh, I could be wrong. It's been a little while since I've actually used facade actively but facade is an option there uh it gets iron tail uh which is okay it could hit ice types but there's probably a better move out there oh here it is rock slide you hit flying type super effectively you hit bug type super effectively you hit ice type super effectively you hit fire type super effectively what do those all have in common they're super effective against grass <laughs> so you can hit them for some super effective damage there. Um, you can get... You can, so basically what I was thinking, you get your bulk up. Literally, with the move. Um, and the train. And then you can start going for some uh, heavy hitting rock sliding damage. Uh, fun idea. But this is kind of like a little bit of a joke idea because I've never actually seen it work. But rock slide has... 90 accuracy uh, or a base accuracy of 90 so it's not guaranteed you can potentially miss well sword and shield introduced the blunder policy so basically if your move misses uh, because of the accuracy is just bad um, your speed gets increased by two stages 88 times two is not bad um you're looking at 176 speed right there. Now you're getting to be a little bit speedy on top of having the bulk. That could be fun. Um, and say you wanted to put a little bit of investment. Maybe say bring it up to... Okay, that's I'm starting to get a little bit higher than I, I meant for a little investment. But if you bring it up by 92 points, that puts you up to 100. That puts you at base 200 speed. Uh, with that being doubled, which is okay. Uh, you slap a uh, Jolly Nature. You're looking at 96 speed. Um, you bring it up to 107, which is only 76 EVs in speed. Now you're outspeeding a max speed Dragapult, which is handy. Uh, we don't know the speed stats of the newer Mons yet, but we do know, as far as returning Mons go... Dragapult's the fastest thing so far. And that caps out at 213. If you double your speed <clears throat> from 107 to 214, well, now you're guaranteed to at least 
outspeed a non-choice scarfed max speed Dragapult. That's right, Milk. <laughs> so yeah. Base 107 speed times 2, 214. You're outspeeding a Dragapult, which is... Uh, that's a fun idea when you think about it, because, you know, base 68 speed, on paper, not the fastest. Um, that said, if you want to go for more of a bulky idea, you could probably run a Impish Nature to get a little bit more out of your defense. Maybe, say, bring it up to at least 100 points. Uh, keep in mind, too, because um, the game's not out, Damage calcs are probably not going to be the greatest um, or accurate yet because we have to factor in terrestrialization uh, and we also have to factor in new mons. So I'm just kind of speculating on EVs right now. But I would say probably bring up your defense to about 100. Maybe put 4 into your special defense just to round that up to 102 as well. You could probably increase your HP up to something like 209 or go a little bit further maybe uh 219 and because the minute you hit a new uh interval of 10 uh that also affects how much uh hp you get back or lose depending on if uh you have a status condition you have terrain up um so yeah you kind of want to like end your number closer to nine uh rather than switch it up to zero because now you're taking usually 20 points of damage as opposed to 19 points of damage there uh if you're say burned or poisoned uh I'm trying to remember the exact uh numbers off the top of my head but uh yeah i'm kind of blanking um so anyways math is not my strong suit right now um going forward too if you're raising your attack you probably don't need to boost your attack or put that much attack investment in there but if you wanted to you could probably bring i mean you could get away with boosting your attack uh or maximizing your evs into attack because uh we aren't running a adamant or uh brave nature on this go go yet so uh you might want to make up for the lack of uh, investment by doing something like that or you could lower it a little bit. Uh, 152, uh, once you start boosting that, that gets pretty respectable, though. You could even do something like 150, and then just throw your last couple of points into speed. Um, the way how it works out with the EVs is, if you want to do four stats, you're not gonna, you're gonna have, like, leftover EVs somewhere. So you're better off uh, altering it and doing either uh, three or five. You don't need to invest into all six stats, though. Um, unless you're running some kind of weird mix set. But yeah, this is just an experimental idea for GoGoat. Um, 219 HP is pretty respectable. Uh, 150 is moderately respectable before you're getting any modifiers. Uh, same idea with 100 defense, especially if you theoretically get the grassy terrain up uh, 102 just to kind of round up that number there to get an even number. And then the rest I just kind of dump the speed. So that was one idea for go Goat there. Uh, you can run a bulky set uh, with Horn Leech and Rock Slide or Leaf Blade and Rock Slide with Milk Drink and Bulk Up. Uh, potentially Blender Policy. Um... Lumberry wouldn't be that bad either because you can uh, remove status from Gogo. Another idea that I was thinking, you can run a Salt Vest. Just go straight moves. Dump in like maybe straight up attack, maybe max HP or a combination of like HP and defense or something like that. Uh, let's throw in an Impish Nature for a quick second there. Yeah, 102. Maybe bring that up to 108. And like I was just saying about the stats, put what's left in the speed there. And we'll bring that down to 209. And see if that gets us up to uh, 110 defense. Or special defense. Because Assault Fest, 
raises your special defense. We can run Sap Sipper, or we can put Grassy Pelt. Grass Pelt, not Grassy Pelt. Um, get some defense on there, get the train up. Some kind of ideas that I was thinking about that. Um, yeah. You get your Wild Charge. This is one move that you would have to watch out for with your HP calcs, because you do take Recoil. Um, rock Slide hits things on a wide variety. The sod covers if you get burned. Leaf Blade potential uh, crit damage. Um, and one thing that I want to address uh, regarding both uh, this Assault Vest idea for Go Goat and the other one that we just had on the screen, if you wanted to terrestrialize it and keep it a grass type, um, basically you would get an adaptability boost into your grass stab. Instead of getting a 50% boost, you would get a double percent boost. Because if you terrestrialize into a type that you already are, uh, the benefits uh, get to stick around uh, from what you originally had. So if you terrestrialized into, like, say, a normal type, you would then get just gain stab for normal type, but keep your grass type stab. If you terrestrialized into a grass type and you're already a grass type to begin with, you're at times two. Um, so that's what I was thinking there. Potentially, Gogo could be interesting as a grass type uh, Terra candidate as well and then finally um you'd probably want to look into some support options as well and we know florgus is coming back which is why i have a florgus on the screen here uh keep in mind this is not a move set at all this is just some support moves that i placed in there um and i think florgus might be a decent support for any grass type because that's kind of what it does um Florgus' main ability, uh, Flower Veil, basically prevents grass types from having their stats lowered or being inflicted with a status condition, which is nice. Um, another incentive to maybe run your physical go-go. Now you don't have to worry about Intimidate lowering your attack. Uh, you don't have to lower worry about uh, go-go potentially getting burned uh, if Florgus is on the field. Florgus naturally gets grassy terrain as well, because we don't know uh, if Rillaboom is... It's most likely not going to make it into the first first wave of the regional deck, so you would have to find a way of setting up grassy terrain. Um, Florgus does get that, which is nice. Um, on another note, too, uh, Jump Buff is also in the game, and it's got a base 110 speed. It also gets grassy terrain. So, food for thought there. Um, you get Aromatherapy as well, maybe. You get Aromatherapy slash Heal Bell, which they ba both basically do the same thing. But maybe Gogo got burned before Florius hits the field. Uh, you get Aromatherapy and remove the status conditions um, that are spread out amongst your team. Um... I don't really see any real reason to run a physical grass type move on Florgus, but it does get Petal Blizzard, which hits both targets um, on your opponent's side of the field as well as your partner. So that could potentially boost up a Sap Zipper boost on the Go Goat. And I think the only thing on there that we didn't mention really was Flower Shield, which raises the defense stat of all active grass types by one as well. So. There's plenty of options to get Go Goat um, boosted up, that's for sure. And I think really that's all, everything that I had in mind for it so far. So, anyways, guys, uh, I hope you liked uh, listen, listening to me talk about the goat, the Go Goat, the goat that goes. I don't know where I'm going with this. Nah, there's another go. Uh, anyways, and speaking of go, I'm pretty sure this thing's not even in Pokemon Go yet either. So, uh, if there's anyone from Niantic listening, please give it Bullet Seed, Leaf Blade, and Rock Slide. Please. Uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you uh, enjoyed listening to this uh, talk. I hope you're excited for Go Go to come back. Uh, to Scarlet and Violet. It's been a while since we've seen it. And uh, I hope there's at least one person that uh, maybe tries to do something with this. Um, 
this idea here with either Horn Leech or Leaf Blade in the bulky set, because I think this could be really fun, especially with uh, Grass Belt. Assuming hidden abilities are moderately uh, easy to get. But uh, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.